Let's see what the wind's like down on the big one. Look, there's dust. It's quite bad. Yeah. Has it been bad the whole time? No, the thing is, it's super gusty, like it comes and goes. Day three at Darkfest. Another. Do you uh, mean Windfest? It's Windfest. It's another very windy day. A bit, a bit blowy. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> I'm yet to jump the 90 footer, even though I really came here to do the 110 footer, and it's taken three days to not even hit it. So I'm hoping in this evening session, Tom Eisted's going to tow me top to bottom. Hitting the 90, the twisty wizard, the big left hip that I haven't done yet this year. The rest of the week to do the 110. So this video is very much the quest to hit every jump at Darkfest. The, well, the run-in for that has a huge 50-foot step down that I've not done either. So there's actually... Have a look at that if you haven't looked at it yet. Good point, yeah. Time. All right, done. <laughs> I want to do this so badly. How many people have done it in the world? 12? I think, no, it's not even that. I think it's like eight of us in the Yeah. So do you just jump straight on the shark fins up there? Yeah, so one of the berms, the right shark fin, you go over the back of that one. Okay. Jump straight in and then... Because that looks like a fast turn. No brakes. Right, and do you pump round it, like try and gain yeah. speed? Wow. Elias is on the landing there. It's a road gap that's like significantly set back and it jumps it diagonally. So it's two roads, really. Yeah. Still not as big as the hardline one, mate, so... Yeah, true. But the hardline one's a highlight really of hardline. This is just a setup. <laughs> this is just access but if you imagine for 110. In a bag park, it's huge. No oh. one would ride it. So as much as I came here extremely confident and up for it with an entire week, whereas last year it was just two and a half days, I can't help but feel like the wind has hampered my chances of ticking everything off in a like nice controlled manner. I imagine the wind will die at some point, whether it be at 6 a.m., 7 p.m and it's gonna be a mad rush to jump everything. And I'm just gonna to have to be in that crew. All right, so you've jumped this, land good, just an absolutely breakless bomb. And then sail. How you doing, Brendan? Hey. All right, dog? It's too windy to ride, so I'm just- It looks like you could fly to the right. I've lost my voice a bit screaming about how windy it is. Right, everyone's aborted the session, but Tom and I are going to hit the road gap into the 110, but not do the 110. Big road gap coming up. Wow, that's fast! Oh man. I can't believe that you're going to have to, like, be no brakes. No brakes. Oh. <laughs> it was a lot of brakes just to slow down. You're going to be speeding up. Well, hopefully I will be speeding up. You will be. Whew. Thanks for that. That's another thing off the list. Yeah. Step up. Yeah. We're the last two people on course. And then a game of chess. And then a game of chess. I'm going to really cruise. Yeah, boy. It's just impossible to judge. Yeah. All right, doggo. I'm the sauce stand for you, ice cold lager. Good game of chess, Tom. Yeah. See that post? Yeah. The post. That's the landing of the mini road gap. Oh, yeah. so we need to, that's probably what we should look at. I'm very nervous. Let's go. Yeah, boys. He's... Going for more. Oh god. I'm stopping. That's too windy. Woohoo! The 90 felt amazing. Woohoo! I stopped for the rockets. Thank you. Nice. You were loose on the hip. 
I went massive. I braked. Yeah, Thomas. Yeah, I should have braked. <laughs> yeah, so I've hit everything from last year. I just need to link it now. Yeah. Then we got the 110 at some point this week. This one's always like, what win? What win? Yeah, go. Yeah. No, here we go, top to bottom. Come on. Feels windy. Woo! Here we go! Come on! That was windy! All right, mate, let's go. Took three days, but I'm in the top to bottom gang now. The P T to B um, squad. You gotta take a shit. Made it happen. Mostly thanks to Thomas. Yeah. Okay. Thank so you, Thomas. Well, not a problem, mate. I think he's keen to go and do some 110 run-ins now. I might do a few 110s. Ooh. Just to put that out there. Decent. And I'm gonna probably just get used to that 90 because I'm riding it like a bit of a wrong one. So I'm actually gonna break and pop it a bit, I think. Which is what you did, right? Um, honestly, I did one single brake tap and then went pretty neutral off the lip. But I think you can also go slow and pop it depending yeah. on what you prefer. Cool. But I think go neutral. It's sick that everyone talks to each other and everyone has an opinion. Yeah. But everyone's bikes do roll at different speeds and everyone weighs a different amount. Yeah, well, look at I'm the bush wait. down there. I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Uh, Come in! Boys dropping in. Do this. Get it, Thomas. What? What? Yeah, boy! Oh, I couldn't actually believe it with my own eyes. <laughs> Way too close to you. It was I sick. Was way we were too two up on the step up. Bro, 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 bro. Right, I'm still keen to get comfortable on the 90. Let me just confirm over here and quite in secret. Are you going to jump the 110? Maybe if I if this feels good and the wind's good, I'll go. Okay, I'm going to jump the 90 and stop on the hip <laughs> yeah. and then film you. Yeah, man. And I might give a little break. Sorry mate, I'm filming Tom do the 110. Come up here, come up here. I'm really nervous for him. Yeah, Tom! Yeah, Thomas! No! No way! What? No! No! He flipped it first run of the year perfectly. He's the king. What the? You are by far the craziest guy ever. <laughs> well done, Tom. Another 5 a.m. start in the name of Big Air. This is how big the coffee is. Oh, yes, true for the Big Air. <laughs> Apparently, there's bad weather coming in today. A lot of rain later. So, I don't really know what this morning will bring. I think it'll be a mad rush for everyone to get up there, start riding top to bottoms. I'm pretty hungry to jump that 110, to be honest. <laughs> Thank you. 
Sorry? Trail crew are doing the last minute bit of watering. I think the fact that there's still hanging mist means that there's been no wind all night. Conditions are finally on our side. Just the hour, the hour of the day is not. I want to crank into a train if that's a possibility. So you're going to go a bit faster because the air's denser. Tiny I'm going to go exactly the same speed. All right. Wow, how did we case that so much? That much lower. What the hell? Yesterday we went like five foot further. It's insane how much dense there is, isn't it? I think I'm going to go first, Tom, to figure yeah. out my own speed, if you know what I mean. I'll follow you then. You don't have, you don't have to. You, yeah, that's savage. Yeah, I'll follow you. Yeah. Yeah. Man. <laughs> so it's now 10 to 7. I've done more full laps of this track than I ever have in a day. And I've probably, so far in the last two days, matched what I've ever done. So, although a lot of people have been here a few years and for at least a week each time, I feel quite victorious already. There's just still the 110 footer to go. And some tricks on the step up. I am a trick guy, I want to do some tricks here. But right now I feel about as good as I could about these jumps, you know? Yeah! Next one to tick off is a 360 on the step up. Yeah boy, let's see what a flip on this first rocket feels like. It's my first ever downhill bike 360. I wanted to do it last year, didn't have the balls. All the time. All the time. I wanted to do it all this week, didn't have the conditions. So that's a big one for me. Everyone else is sort of like, oh yeah, cool 360 bro, but I'm stoked with that. I'm just heading up to do another 360 on the step up and it's the first time this year I've stood by this step down, which leads into the rockets. Like when you jump this and don't walk it, it just feels like a fast little drop. Look how big it is. And there's the landing. Thanks. Well, after a successful morning doing tricks on the full course, <laughs> Sam's decided to book everybody a pirate ship. Yay! Back to the jumps in a bit. <laughs> I wanna have a We weren't really supposed to ride today, 
because of the bad weather forecast, hence the pirate ship yesterday evening. But inevitably we've woken up and there's no wind. Well, it's not too bad. It is the morning, so the air moves up the valley, which is a headwind naturally for the 110. But I've just done a top to bottom. It felt okay, a little bit slower than yesterday. But Tom's just gone up to the top telling me he's gonna do the 110, so I'm gonna watch it. And then maybe I'll man up. But he's still the only person to jump it, and I feel like there's a reason there's people here who have done that jump before who aren't queuing up to do it, and I don't know why. So I'm being cautious, but I've made enough of a deal about it. That's why I'm here, really, isn't it? To jump the biggest jump in the world. No. No, 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 no. Right, Tom. Tom, are you all right? Uh, yeah. Carson. Uh, Carson, you just hang tight. Uh, I've broken the ankle for sure. What's the position you can lay in now where you're not moving? Good job you didn't flip it, mate. Down. So glad you guys didn't flip it. Was it the headwind situation yeah. we said about? Or just thicker air? Thicker air yeah. Morning air? Yeah. Yeah. So you, went, you felt like you were going faster then than when you flipped it the other yeah. night? Yeah. I'm glad I didn't follow you, but poor Carson. He's hard. No. No one's Animal. Whoa. So I think that's kind of put a down, well, it certainly put a downer on the morning, but that also means that the two people that have jumped the 110 this year, Eisted and technically Carson, are both out of action. Carson's definitely smashed his ankle off. And uh, both their brakes are completely broken, so Tom can't ride now. So yeah, massive healing vibes to Carson, and this quest, quest continues. I feel like I potentially dodged a bullet there, because I was... Yeah, that would have been me. That doesn't bode well for up there, does it? No, not at all. <coughs> so I wouldn't worry too much about those other ones. You think no one's going to hit the 110? I wouldn't think so. I wouldn't be wanting to do it today. Because I was brakeless there in case the rockets. Yeah, same. Tom's made a miraculous recovery, <laughs> swapped out his bike for obvious reasons, same as if you crash and smash your helmet. And tomorrow is my last day. Um, <laughs> and we just case the rockets, which means it's a headwind again. And Tom will say from experience, not the best idea to go for those ones at the top. So. Oh well, it's still an hour and yeah. that's not a lot here. <laughs> Two guys jumped it, Elias and Bienve. They both said they went 110% full speed and both of them like just cased it. To be honest, my goggles are too tinted. I couldn't see it, it got dark, but maybe I missed a chance. Uh, it's gone from being a fun challenge to like one that I feel mega pressure with. Down in like the sort of by the 90s, it's like a kind of small tailwind, but actually not too bad at all. Yeah, it. yeah, it'll be interesting to see what the wind's like on the 90 today. Yeah, Teo. Yeah, Not many people riding and all the ones that are saying it's definitely not a good time to jump that jump elias jumped it last night i think for the 110 specifically you need every bit of speed you can get and obviously the mornings are always a little bit slower because the, the air is thicker so i think matt if you want to want to do it the 
if you want to do the 110, go for it tonight. Yeah. Tonight's the night, maybe. And like, if it's too windy, then don't do it. Which is my last night. <laughs> so much pressure. It. Matt's giving himself a hard time because he woke up with it with the like ah oh, i want to hit it kind of thing yeah but he uh, needs to understand that these jumps take time <laughs> and effort I've just driven up here for one final look and it's the same story. The air's moving up the valley. It's a headwind. No one's really riding. I don't really know how to word it. I've, I can't believe this video is going to end like this. But the quest to jump the world's biggest jump continues. Me and that bike will get over that jump. This week no one really has. So I feel a bit like a fraud entering into it. So certain I was just going to take off on that takeoff and land somewhere on the landing. And I've never done it. Everything happens for a reason I guess. I had a bad feeling and dodged a big bullet with castle and ice dead crashing and then the stars never really aligned beyond that so maybe this year's dark fest wasn't so much about the 110 hey but thank you for following along i will do that jump legends <laughs>